everybody, guess who it is? It's me, I'm back. So a while ago, I made a video about how spring was in full swing. And that also means that all of the little creatures and little bugs that were hidden for the winter have now like come out in full force. And when I mean creatures, I mean bugs and insects. So since all of these little creatures have come out and started crawling everywhere, um, I have a couple stories to tell you. Here we go. The mosquito story. This is a great story. Yay. I am actually very fortunate and I'm not one to get affected by mosquitoes a lot, but that doesn't mean they don't freaking annoy me. The other night it was about 12 o'clock and I was just sitting in my room and I was about to go to bed and I was like, oh, I'm so tired. Oh. And I was sitting on my bed and all of a sudden I hear this noise and it's like, From. And so I'm looking around, looking around, and all I can hear is <coughs> Until I realize there is a mosquito in my room And it won't leave I've managed to lay eyes on the mosquito And then I just sit on my bed going like this And it goes quiet, and I'm like, did I get it? I don't know where it went A couple minutes later So I ended up running around my room like this. Where are you? <laughs> the disappearing bug story. This story is kind of creepy and still creeps me out. So yeah. The other night again, it was about 12 o'clock, which is about the time that I go to bed. I was brushing my teeth and in the mirror, I see this little like black thing on the ceiling. And I look up and it's like this like beetle bug like this big and I was like oh no if you know something about me it's that I hate cockroaches and I think it was a cockroach I'm not sure but I hate them I hate anything that like looks like co I just I don't like cockroaches they so immediately I was like oh my gosh it's cockroach what am I gonna do there everybody else is asleep what what am I gonna do there's a cockroach on the ceiling <sighs> and I look away for a second trying to think about what I can use to kill this. And I look back and it's gone. And I don't know where it went. Like, it, there wasn't any, there's was no, there was nowhere for it to go. It just disappeared. It wasn't on the floor. It wasn't on the ceiling anymore. It was, I looked everywhere and it wasn't there. And it just makes me so paranoid. Now, every time I walk into the bathroom, I'm afraid it's just gonna appear. And I don't like it and I don't know where it went. <laughs> creeps me out, so that's good. Yay, paranoia. This last story is a little bit more lighthearted, and it is the firefly story. I was hanging out with some friends, and it was dark outside, and we noticed that the little fireflies were out and blinking their little firefly lights. And so we decided that we were gonna go catch them. And so we went out and we each, my friend and I each caught one. And then we let them go and we said, why don't we go get a jar and do that like childhood thing where you catch fireflies and put them in a jar and it makes like a nice little light. We ran back to our house because um, we were at this park and we got these little plastic cups and um, to put them in so that they make this nice little light. We did, we totally intended to like let them free. We weren't going to just like kill them. No. And we spent like half an hour running around the park chasing all these fireflies and caught none. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's like they knew we were gonna catch them. Like as soon as we would get close, it'd like fly 10 feet in the air. We wouldn't be able to catch it anymore. And I don't even know what was going on. <laughs> it was so weird. And it just basically, it was a massive fail. Um, so if any of you have had any encounters with bugs lately, please let me know. And or if you have any like firefly related stories from your childhood or disappearing bug stories, feel free to put them down in the comments. I think that's all I have for y'all today, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!